Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I thought I'd talk about reeds. Reeds, reeds, glorious reeds. Nothing quite like it for making me squeal. Yeah, reeds give me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know about you, but swimming over things that tickle me can, uh, can give me a bit of a fright. So having accidentally filmed a whole lot of swimming through reeds the other week, I thought I'd put it to good use and show you my top three tips for being able to have a uh, stress-free swim over reeds. Before I go for a swim, I always take a little look on Google Earth to see what I might be coming up against. So switching on, even on Google Maps, switching over from the kind of generic view over to a satellite view and then zooming right in gives me opportunity to check to see if it looks pretty reedy. Because let's face it, just like us, the reeds really love it when it's nice and warm in the summer and that's when they flourish. Try not to be too concerned about the reeds, just know that they will always be lying in the direction of the flow. So as long as you're swimming with the flow, you shouldn't get tangled up in them. It can feel like you're going to, and it can really freak you out when you get touched by them. That's one of the reasons that I wear some footwear that looks like this. Or some neoprene boots or something like that. It just desensitizes the bottoms of my feet from getting tickled by things and makes things a whole lot easier, especially if I have to use the walking method uh, that makes it a lot more comfortable. <laughs> oh my god, this loads of them. Yep. You might want to Superman through with your arms out in front and just fluttering your feet gently as you drift over the top of the reeds. This method is great if you've got goggles on because you can get a really good look below you and see actually there's nothing too crazy going on and it's really pretty under there. So there's nothing to be worried about looking down into the reeds. You can also walk or kind of bounce along almost like, uh, like you're walking across the moon's surface or something. Um, and that is much easier with something on your feet but you can sort of kind of doink along and again that doesn't feel quite so bad you just go past it like walking through uh, long grass in a field or something you can also roll over onto your back and drift down over the reeds it feels a little bit like being tickled and is much less sensitive I think than, uh, than the feeling on the front and also with you just flapping your hands kind of sculling at the side there's nothing to get caught on the reeds either so it's a whole lot less frightening. When I'm swimming in a river I think the bigger risk to me rather than the reeds is the possibility of getting caught on fishing line so for that reason I take a knife with me. I keep the knife nice and handy attached to the outside of my tow float and um, it's one that I can operate single-handedly so I just push on the little button and it will come open and it's got a bent um, a little bent blade there so that if I did get caught on some fishing line or something I could cut it off and equally if the reeds were that bad that I got caught on I could hack them off with this too the bent thing is to help to stop cutting yourself if you come in close I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and that you're not going to let a few reeds put you off the idea of a swim consider my tips of wearing some goggles taking a knife with you and checking out the track before you get in the water. If you have been in the water and found that the reeds have freaked you out a little bit or even if it's the seaweed that's freaked you out, check out my channel because I've got a video about what to do if panic strikes. I'll link it up here for you as well. And while you're at it, please consider subscribing to my channel. I've got almost 100 videos on there about outdoor swimming and I'd love to have you join me. Drop me a comment, let me know where you've been swimming and any tips you've got for me to try out about swimming over the reeds and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye!